gentlemen, you guys are familiar with um, a shopping apparatus called the Gap. And I just got finished harping to Larry about all these Republicans who are rich and business owners see Joe Biden about to win. Now they're screaming for everybody to kumbaya, we need to come together. Right in the midst of Trump still tearing down the country, and instead of attacking him, you're trying to tell the next president that he needs to make people come together. A lot of us really ain't trying to hear that. So what did the Gap do? The Gap took it upon themselves to attempt to make a unity hoodie. As you can see, <laughs> it's blue for Democrats. It's red for Republicans. They should have made it purple if they really wanted unity because that would be a mesh of all the colors. In any event, <laughs> it took some backlash, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at what the celebrities was having to say. <laughs> Chrissy Teigen. Yeah, we can just walk sideways depending on the city we're in. <laughs> <laughs> then you got somebody in here says, even the hoodie shows clearly how divided we are. Try purple. <laughs> hey, that's just what I just said. <laughs> Unity would look like that. And then you got one cat down here. How much are we divided? Gap had to apologize for an ad with a hoodie promoting political unity. That's how much. Well, yeah, it's a bit late. It's honestly, Larry, here's the issue. While everybody is trying to do this kumbaya stuff right now, where the hell have you been with your kumbayas the last four years while Trump has been doing everything except for calling the people of America a child of God? Floor is yours, Larry. I I'll tell you. You know, to be honest with you, I was looking at that hoodie like it's kind of dope. I kind of like it. I mean, Hell. I don't necessarily want I don't necessarily want the gap across my <laughs> chest, but that would have been dope if instead of the gap they had USA. That would have been dope. But I would Larry, roll with that. But Larry, this is what I want to know. Why is it that Democrats and minorities always have to capitulate to Anglo-Saxons when they do something wrong or when they people do something wrong and you done fractured the country and now you want us to understand you messed up, but you want us to behave. I'll give you an example. When I, the NFL was all bashing Colin Kaepernick for taking a knee for the flag, they was all saying, oh, he's a communist, all this stuff. Jerry Jones, the owner of the Dallas football Cowboys, who believes that all his players should stand in attention for the flag with their heart on their hand on their heart. And one day he decided, you know what? We need to squash this. We need to kumbaya. And he comes out there looking very silly, taking a knee that was supposed to be solidarity and then saying that, you know what, let's come together. The very next week, he's bashing people that want to take a knee for the flag. Why is it that when Anglo-Saxons mess up, and they screw up something and other people get mad. Why all of a sudden now we've got to have unity and solidarity? I, I mean, I hear you, man. It, it's, it's, and I don't even, I mean, it is, it is minorities and other folks that, but honestly, it, it's really what it feels like is the people on the left have to deal with the BS of the people on the right. Because the people on the right are this is this is sort of what it's like. The people on the right are that are that crazy, dumb, reckless family member that goes out there and screws up their life in the most horrendous ways. They go out there and get drunk and drive their car into the into the side of a of a of a police cruiser, or they get drunk and rear end an undercover cop. Then they end up getting locked up, and they call you to mm -hmm. get bailed out and this happens right after you just saved up your last bit of coin so that you can go buy a, a car or something that you've been saving for and now here comes your cousin you know calling asking for money to get bailed out and you're like nah hell no i'm tired of this dude and this and that's when your mama calls you up saying you know you have to do what's right honey you know you have to do what's sweet you can't turn your back on family like that so now you got to go take all your hard-earned money and go put that capital on somebody else's mistakes. And that's basically what the world is within this country with the left and the right. The right goes in there, they screw everything up, they 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 explode deficits, they get us in all kinds of financial trouble, 
And then the left has to come in and pass all kinds of policies that fix all this stuff and get us back on firm footing. And then they turn around and say, oh, look at the look at the, the Democrats that are doing all this stuff wrong and they need to be cutting regulations and they need to be doing this and they need to be doing that. And so they get back in office and they screw everything up again and then we have to go fix it. I'll, I'll tell you, mm -hmm. if, if we could just get three solid presidential terms, I'm talking about three eight-year terms. That's a long time. Granted, that is a long time. That you're, We're talking about, what, 24 years that would be of straight Democratic presidents? But I think if we could get that, we could put this country on such solid footing that it would probably take 50 years of Repu No, I'm not going to say that because Republicans could screw, screw stuff up really, really quickly. But we could get this country on such firm footing that it would it would take a lot to screw it up. We would I mean, at least with, with we would have to have terms, we would have to have the terms, Senate. We can get education. We can get free college for everyone. We can get our healthcare situation straightened out. We can trim the fat on these military budgets where the military doesn't even want the crap that we're giving them money for, and we can reallocate that fund those funds to something else. You know, we can get the deficit down. We, I mean, there's a lot we could do. A lot. Okay. Yeah, so I guess that means uh, you ain't wearing that hoodie. <laughs> nah, I, I told you I would have rocked that hoodie if it said if it said USA on it. That would have been dope. That would have been dope. They just they could have put a little gap on the back right behind the hoodie or or on the inside. They didn't need to put they didn't need to put big old gap on there. They could have just rocked a, a USA on there, and that would have been dope.